It is Shroud of the Avatar time once again. I'm uh, here we are standing outside my house in Ardoris. Uh, in my crafted outfit, although I actually bought the hat. So this is my first look video. Uh, I'm just going to run through some of the new features in the release. Probably not all of them. I've, uh, I've done some notes. I've done some testing. I might even know what I'm talking about a lot of the time. So the first new thing uh, is, well I mean, it's this water. The water itself isn't new, but they're using this water effect in Ardoris is new. I'm not sure that I entirely like it, or prefer it to the old water effect. It does look like, you know, it's just a sheet that's lying underneath the city. It's The lighting it all seems to be wrong. Uh, but I've seen it, so I've had a little run around, I've seen it some other places and it does look nicer than that, so I don't know if it's just how they've got it going in uh, in Ardoris. But anyway, this this is the new water to go with the sky and all that. And that is new in Ardoris in this release. So, next uh, new things we're going to be spending quite a lot of time in Ardoris for this video because a lot of the uh, new stuff is crafting and or agriculture related um, while I'm here though I'll see if I can put up my picture oh, I've got all my UI turned off now I have got a new reward which is the Stroud of the Avatar painting I don't know if it'll fit on my wall. Yes, it will. There we go. Shroud of the Avatar painting. That is a uh, a backer reward, which is implemented in this release. I don't know how good a view we can get of it here. That other painting is just uh, one I bought at a shop in uh, Owl's Head, I think. This one is, yes, the Shroud of the Avatar painting to uh, mark my home forevermore as being being uh, the home of a backer. Right, let me just shut the door. Uh, see my clockwork dog is still here from last time. There is a, a new uh, clockwork raven. Now, I don't think, yeah, I think I have to pick the dog up still to place the raven. Dismiss pet. pet. There we go. Pet M. Right. So having dismissed the dog, I should now be able to place the raven. There we go. No. That's the dog again. Let's try that again. No. Pick up there. Right. Do it. Right. Raven. Go, raven. There it is. It flies. It makes a funny noise, apparently. There it is. Yeah, that is the noise. So, Clockwork Raven, new in this release. Um, I'm just referring to my notes. I possibly didn't mention that but since I've picked it up from the bank right so exciting new things for this release I have prepared earlier here is a planter now I got uh, I got two of these uh, it's in my quest rewards planting pot there it is look oh, that's the other one uh, and what these allow me to do is plant seeds. Now I've bought seeds from farmers while I've been away. Uh, I've tried them and they don't work in the planter so maybe they need to be in the planting pot, maybe they need something else. One thing that will work is the immortality fruit seed and the royal elderberry seed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the elderberry seed in this one. You need a bucket of water and an artisan hoe. There you go, plant. So it works like a crafting table. 
and I've done it. So you see, we've removed the royal order, we've removed the, the seed, the royal elderberry plant is planted. Would you like to water the plant? So, not at this time, no. I think you have to water it every day. I'm not sure exactly of the mechanics there. Uh, but I should point out that I did get the uh, uh, buckets of water. I, I received uh, 10 buckets of water in my in the bank in the rewards so i'm assuming we have to water the plant five times before it's all freed up let's just head upstairs and plant the uh, the other one and then i'll talk about talk about what they actually do while i'm uh, doing that so the, what, the other one i'm going to plant here that looks fine where's my planting pot Housing, planting pot, there we go. So this one I'm going to plant the uh, immortality fruit. So the way the immortality fruit works is that uh, when you eat it, it will restore you to full health. Uh, and when you eat it, you get a seed back. There we go. Plant an immortality fruit as well. So it's it's basically a uh, a save your life one time thing. But then you have the seed, and you come back, and you plant the seed again, and you get another fruit. So you you can only have uh, you know one fruit at a time. But as long as you are uh, careful and don't drop things, you should always have that uh, seed or the fruit, uh, one or the other, and be able to, uh, oh, I'm trying to navigate from my house now, and be able to uh, have a sort of one-off restore. Uh, the elderberry, elderberry plant, is, a, is an ingredient for a recipe, which you also get in your quest rules if you're, if you're at this level. I think it's, it's a fairly low level thing, the so this recipe raw purple cloth I will double click it now boom in it comes there is a slight bug on the old uh, recipe book this is all new by the way the actual defined pictures rather than just floating there we go so I need a royal elderberry two chunks of coal and a cooking pot to make royal purple cloth dye now you'll notice as I go wandering around town in a little while that uh, there's a suddenly a lot of NPCs that are uh, a royal purple in colour. That is, uh, I'm sure, no coincidence that this elderberry thing's been introduced as a uh, working working item. So, before I set off to the crafting stations and talk further about, I'm going to get my crafting crafting stuff out. Well, not all of it because then I'll be massively overburdened and I'm just going to go for slightly overburdened right so I want to try and craft some dye so I'm looking for hopefully I've got some of this stuff already he says and, um, uh, maple board oh, I've only got one how much need for that four eight eight Pine resin. So we may need to go and buy some stuff. Let's see if we've got the coal here. Let's, uh, let's try. Okay. Let's have my coal. Pine resin. Have I got any of that? No. Maple tree bark creosote. I have some of that somewhere, I'm sure. Creosote, there it is. Okay, go. So I'm short on maple tree bark. 
and some other things. But I suspect the way this usually works is uh, so in place of maple tree bark there'll be something else for a different colour. So let's see what else I've got around. I've got five bananas so that's always worth a try. Okay. Go on. There we go. So what I'll do if I can't find any tree bark that I can afford is I will attempt to basically do the same recipe except with different ingredients instead of the maple tree bark and see how we get along. So yes, I'm going to head to the crafting station and on the way we can talk about I always shut the door behind me we can talk about some of the other changes uh, after the crafting I do plan to uh, head out and try and do a bit of combat because uh, there are some combat changes that are worth talking about and on the way to the crafting we're going to visit the skill trainer to talk about some of those things uh, but yes that's the crafting so in the last release uh, the quality the quality of the crafting stations if that makes sense was you know, crafting stations started to have a quality value even though only crappy crafting stations were available I'm just going to buy some more bananas here who knows how many I'll need oh, there's no bananas I wonder what else will be let's get 10 carrots what else 10 tomatoes all relatively cheap let's go for that I'll try and make dyes with them yes yeah, so the crafting tables basically had started getting a quality uh, rating in the last release in this release different qualities of crafting table are available although I'm not entirely sure where you get them right so I've come to the skills trainer you'll notice that now he's called adventurer trainer and that's because if you uh, look here in adventuring so if we look at blades that's probably not good because I'm all the way up there in that Heavy armor. Oh, I'm all out there in that. Okay, so you can see that although you can pay a hundred gold to uh, get to this third tier here, if I had the previous experience, what else have I got? Uh, you can't buy some of these things that are higher up higher up the uh, tree anymore so this trainer is limited to like the first three levels in most cases I think you'll see it also in that magic so you see that I can't get into these uh, higher level skills although I'll be locked out from some of them anyway so basically now if you want to get the advanced training you have to find a dedicated skill trainer for for that particular uh, skill tree uh, while we're here let's just have a look in taming now you'll see this is vastly different than previously so before there was that then there was that and then all of these were just in one line at the bottom What's introduced in this release is this heal creature thing, which allows you to uh, not have to invest in life magic in order to heal your tamed creature. Let's learn that while I'm here. Oh, can I learn this as well? Yes. And resurrect creature, which lets you resurrect your dead creature, which if you played with a with, uh, pets in the previous lease, once your pet dies they're gone, it's all over you've wasted however many gold it was you spent on the whistle because the pet's gone um, 
this allows you to get them back uh, without so I should point out that resurrect this spell will also work on your pets but that is massively expensive and despite spending the last four weeks trying to get my purify burst up to level 10 I've still not managed to unlock it yet and now I'm going to have to find the specialized trainer for it uh, so basically alternative skills in the taming tree for life magic stuff if you don't want to do if you don't really want to be a magic user I mean I'm guessing this is in a way magic but you could probably explain how to win the role role playing front and uh, also while I'm here this is a new skill beneficent blessing in the uh, in the life tree uh, which also I can't unlock at this time there have been some changes to fire but what I will try and do is get some uh, combat before we uh, before I start talking about all that stuff right on with the crafting he says so oh, oh it's getting dark look Let's go and see if they, these people have got the... Oh no, that's a skills trainer bloke. Where's the uh, craft? There he is. So what was I looking for? Maple bark? Yep, no maple bark. What can we say? Oh well. That's... Uh, never mind. Let's have a look. At, the, uh, at our recipes anyway, and see if we can uh, see if we can free. Oh, let's check the public vendor. You never know. Maple bark crafting, please. Chance we may be able to afford the maple bark from the trainer. Quite slim, to be fair. Maple wood, five maple for eight hundred. Crazy. Uh, why would you buy the recipe from there when you can buy it? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, no, not got maple bark. Got the public vendor. So what I want is the tanning table. I think is that it? Tanning station level one. Ah, so you see, it now uh, mentions the level in the, in the description. Textile station level one. So the higher level stations give you a. Uh, improved chance of you know getting stuff to work now let's see so we can see that our base blue dye cloth recipe has two chunks of coal oh now it all goes one two and everything has two chunks of coal cooking pot Right, and then maple tree bark, which we've not got any of. But I'm thinking that maybe different amounts of different things. So you see, tomato looks like it's an ingredient. Carrot doesn't look like it's an ingredient. Five bananas evidently isn't enough. Let's try with tomatoes. No. No. Oopsie. They all went. Where did I get to? It wasn't eight. No, I'm not getting anywhere. I wonder if it's some other. Well, well, okay then. So I can't actually craft the die. Uh, well, I mean, I'll just point out, see the percentage that appears. 
that is your chance of creating that recipe. Uh, not creating the recipe will consume uh, any uh, fuel that's used. Um, I'm assuming usually the coal is a fuel. So you might have to, uh, if you're using low low end crafting stations, you might have to stock up. So that whole crafting thing, a bit of a bit of a washout. I will uh, head out on the road. Uh, I'll show you where you can buy the crafting recipes. It's uh, um, uh, Slania has the the crafting thing. You may remember it from the. Uh, the hack quest a while back where you had to collect uh, special leather and special cotton and return it to the uh, chief of crafting so what I'm going to do is uh, head over there uh, and on the way let's see if we get into some combat so I can talk about all that stuff so I'm going to run out of Arteris I will stop talking at the point when it transitions so that I can edit that bit out later. If it, if it transitions very rapidly then I will just leave it in and it will just be a period of silence somewhat awkwardly. As we, uh, as you watch the video, here we go. Alright, so I'm on the overland map. Let's uh, leg it round. Oh, I'm pulled into a scene. Which can be annoying, but since I wanted to talk about combat, it's actually an opportunity. And, you know, unless it's the shop. Let's hope it's some combat. Now, what would actually be perfect is the skeletons one. Let's see. I think it is the skeletons one. How amazing is that? I spent all this time not wanting one. And then the exact right one comes along. Right, I'm going to summon Chesty. There he is. Good man. And we're going to take on some skeletons. Come here, little skeletons. Oh, there we go. Alright, now, so here we are, fighting skeletons, I'm not even bothering that much with the uh, skills at this point. Now, you may be aware, in previous releases, undead and stuff like that could, oh let's root him, there we go, I like doing that. The undead could come back to life. Hey, they've killed my chest. That's just not fair. Could come back to life after you killed them. Uh, you know, high level ones were far more likely to come back to life than lower level ones. Ooh, fire. That's what I wanted to do. Go. Yeah. Now, in this release... They'll only come back to life if there's a mage. So that was the that's the mechanic they're actually uh, intended to implement all along. Uh, not that they would resur resur resurrect magically by themselves. Oh, I'm dead. Resurrect magically by themselves, but they would be resurrected by something. So in this release. Skeletons won't automatically resurrect, no matter what level they are. But if there's a mage around, a skeleton mage or a uh, or a uh, oh, hang on, before I do that, let's get Chesty back out. A skeleton mage or a, a lich mage, they can resurrect. They can resurrect the skeletons or the other undead creatures. I suppose I could put armour on for all of this crap and I would survive a bit longer, but... Psh, psh. Come here, you lot. Where are you? You. Have at it. 
Let's go with the immolation again. So, immolation. Why am I immolating things? It's because, uh, as I alluded to briefly a minute ago, the the way. Oh, I'm down again. I think I might have to put my armor on at this rate. Uh, the way fire spells work has been changed slightly in that the initial damage is reduced but the damage over time is increased and also the damage over time will stack will stack for different uh, different fire spells all right hang on let's just let's just put on some proper armor Um, plate gunless, that's what I wanted. And we'll have the cloak just for good, just for the full look. Right. Right, you lot. You annoying skeleton bunch. Time to die. Uh, of course, my magic will be less effective now I pull it on, so it's a good job I told you all about the, uh, Told you all about that before. Can I loot him? Let's do that while I'm here. Who else did I kill? I kill all these things. There we go. Oh, there's another one. There he is. Right. I might as well, you know, get the benefit of having killed him. Oh, they're all gone. Place where I died. Where have all the skeletons gone? Surely I didn't kill them all. Okay. Oh, there he is. When all else fails. When all else fails, throw some magic at them, see if you can figure out where they are. Yeah, you're for it. Rabbit. Rabbit. Watcher. Rabbit. Watcher. Rabbit. Skeleton Archer. Oh, there he is. There they all are. Uh, auto attack on. That's flame punching. Missed. Stop checking it out. There's a large skeleton out there. He is. Oh, he's behind me. Let's banish the undead. There we go. That's all them dealt with. Except I can't lose him. Why not? I'm not sure. Remove him. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just uh, pick up the plant and stuff while I'm here. So there we go. We've talked about some combat stuff. Um, oh, I've levelled up in my foraging skills. Excellent. There is some other interesting stuff in combat in this release. Um, you probably didn't spot it in my inventory as I was flashing it before, but the Founder's Crystal Sword is now uh, implemented, as I understand it. This is a one-shot weapon that will basically kill any uh, any one thing and then immediately shatter. See, the durability is one. Immediately shatter, 
uh, after use. Uh, it's a it's a found reward, although uh, it's a fairly low level found reward. I think everyone will have it, or will have one of them. Uh, it can only be killed, only use it on one creature, like I said, and after that it shatters. There's no way of repairing it. I, as I understand it, it doesn't work on every creature. I think there's like, you know, some raid bosses and stuff that it won't work on. But if you, it's a, you know, get unstuck fast type option. Right, let's head on back. We've done the combat. Okay, so I've skipped over a whole other uh, uh, random scene I got pulled into. Because there's no need for you to see it. I did harvest some wood while I was in that other scene. So we might be able to get some uh, bark out of it. I don't know. But anyway, onwards to Selenia to look at crafting recipes and uh, and similar things. Uh, there are some other changes to combat apart from what I've discussed in that in that skeleton scene there. The most notable of which is um, Guild Warfare, which has a very basic implementation. Yeah, so Guild Warfare, basically, you challenge a guild leader, or a guild leader challenges another guild leader. And that guild leader can then choose to uh, go to war, and everyone in the guild is then immediately fagged as open PvP, which of course means anyone can attack them, uh, not just uh, the other you know, guild members. But the uh, guild war uh, prize or the victory is determined by PvP kills from. Uh, you know, the two guilds involved in the war. Now I'm just going to sell a lot of uh, this crap I picked up in the scenes so I can afford to buy some recipes and stuff. Hammers, swords, come on. Sign for exchange. So I can afford two dies. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, guess which one will uh, use tomatoes, since that's what I already bought. Let's go for it. Let's filter for dye. Uh, right. Red cloth dye. Sounds like a good bet. Uh, I won't go for any of the any intermediate ones, and let's try yellow, because I suspect that would be the banana one. So let's uh, buy them and see if we can see if we have the components. The components then. Let's learn red cloth dye. Uh, slight, slight defect, as I said before. Apples for red cloth dye, interesting. Banana, yeah, so banana does get us yellow, but we need 10 of them. So 15 apples, I wonder what tomatoes do then. If we need 15 apples, how many tomatoes would we need? Unfortunately, there's a shop round here. I think this is it. Sells all sorts of... Uh, Sorts of handy cooking ingredients if I can actually run it in the door instead of past it. Hello, Merryweather the food merchant. No, no. Actually, not a very useful shop. So, what do we want? We want a farmer. Is there a market somewhere in uh, Slania? Let's have a quick scoot around. 
I think I can probably teleport home now that I've got the two recipes. Rather than figure out where the uh, Selenia market is. Because it's just everyone to see it, because it would be quicker if I could run to it. No. Alright, so. Uh, while I'm here, there is one other thing that's uh, worth discussing. If I can find. If I can find something on which to demonstrate it. Ooh, alchemist. Mage. Very nice. Now, there we go. No, I can't do it. Barrels. I need a barrel that I can actually destroy. There we go. Now, you may not think that was anything unusual. But if you've been watching uh, any previous videos and uh, any combat in in confined spaces, you'll be aware that the default sound for you hitting any uh, wooden decoration object uh, was basically like a gunshot. And now it sounds more like you're smashing something. Uh, so it's a little thing to be sure. But it's a uh, pretty important little thing just for the old uh, what was that noise that you used to get while fighting things in uh, confined spaces. So when I'm out to zone, I'll be clipping the video again. Alright, so... The observant among you will notice I have not zoned to my house. That's because I've been cheating. Uh, right. That's what I'm looking for the boatman. I went to my house, I went to buy 15 apples, and the market only had 9 of them. So I have run over to uh, Kingsport, bought a whole, whole load of wither fruit there. And I'm now back and hoping that he has some apples. Let's see. E nine apples. Okay. Look at that. So I now have enough apples to uh, craft the red dye. So let's head off and do that. Um, some other things that was oh, rained a lot. It is coming up to Christmas. Some other things you can craft in this release. If you've got the uh, replenishing snowball box pledge reward, it is possible in this release to craft snowmen. Uh, I've not tried it yet. If I figure out how to do it, I will. Uh, I will possibly do a video. In the meantime, let's do our red dye. We've got 15 apples, and I've also got 10 bananas. How exciting is that? So double click. Let's try it. Craft. Red dye. Look at that. Yellow. Craft. No. Use up all the coal we see. Uh, it says on the text that all fuels used. I think I've got plenty of coal. We'll just carry on. Come on. It does get very streaky. You see, there's a 36% chance of me failing at this. And I failed there, what, four times in the trot? That's... That is pretty... Uh, pretty bad odds. Right, let's just um, go on, go. Let's just try 15 tomatoes and see what happens. Chunk of coal. No. 16 tomatoes.
No. It could be any number of tomatoes. To be fair. Not worth investigating this time. But anyway, I've got my die. And let's see. I've got a cloth doublet. Uh, die. Do I need to? Uh, oh, there we go. You don't need to craft it. You just need to uh, drag it on. Would you like to use a red dye to dye the cloth corset? Right, see, there's primary colour and secondary colour. So you can, you can do it either way. And I think we'll go for that. Interesting. Cool. Cloth doublet, right, so let's do the yellow dye for the primary colour. Look how tasteful is that. Take all. Now that is does make it a pretty expensive cloth doublet, it has to be said. I just wasted all that dye on equipment. I think it was this one. Hard to say. Let's try it. Not that one. Let's try the other one. No. God, the UI is still, still laggy. Hey! Look at that. That's it. Uh, Let's uh, put some appropriate, appropriate matching headwear in. And there we go. Uh -huh. We'll have the bug. There we go. We have the bug where the thing still stays up. There we go, in my very tasteful uh, yellow and red cloth doublet looking nice so that's uh, that's dying and that is my first look at Shroud of the Avatar R25 uh, been a bit rambling as usual but we've covered quite a bit of stuff there I think uh, so have a good Christmas see you next release